Now in front of us, we have the most sought after upgrade for the BMW's F series, F10, F11, F15, which is the 6WB instrument cluster. This part just came in, it needs to be virginized, it needs to be prepared for the new vehicle. It will require the mileage to be erased and also the VIN number of the donor vehicle to be erased. So we do the magic, we inspect it and later I'm going to show you how we go and install this on a 5 series BMW. Let's see how big the mileage is on this unit. And the winning number will be 107425 miles. Everybody wants an instrument cluster. A very beautiful construction, a thing of beauty. Mm -hmm. I don't need this anymore. We do a little bit of magic. Let's see if the magic works. Ooh. One more time. Do, 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 do. Sounds right. The chip has been virginized using the ACDP2. Now let's reassemble the things and see how the 6WB behaves. The process is a little bit more complicated or the, the process is different than the one that I was using previously with the R2. 70. However, the key takeaway is that now you are able to do it without having to desolder the EEPROM, which is a bit more elegant. We will test it in time to see if it is actually a better method of doing it. Dust is our enemy. Don't try blowing with your mouth because you will put all sorts of things on the display so you're better off using something like this for cameras same story for this now we check the mileage and the winner the cluster is virginized even so keep in mind that the cluster by itself cannot be fitted straight to a vehicle it still needs to be coded to that vehicle so there are some complexities with regards to this retrofit more details in our other videos on the channel i hope that you enjoyed this video maybe you want to see this or that see you in the next time